Hi friend, what if you took the feel of Blair Witch Project and removed the found footage gimmick? Today, we're talking about those who call. Sisters Anna and Sandra take a trip to Colorado. Along the way, the car breaks down. They end up spending the night in the woods and are now being hunted by a cult. Written and directed by Anubis Lopez in his feature film debut starring Yet Linnezi Rodriguez and Angie Sandoval. I love that more and more low-budget independent movies are looking a lot less like bad home movies. While bad ones do have their charm, films like this show what a good filmmaker can do with limited money. Really, this is kind of a family drama with horror elements, but even that's kind of a stretch. I would say it's more of a thriller. Rodriguez and Sandoval play sisters Sandra and Anna. This is what independent filmmakers should look for when auditioning leads. They're both great here. There's a lot of scenes with just the two of them talking, and it's not really boring, like many other films that have tried to do this. It helps here that the two are likable. There's enough to dislike. Example, Sandra whines quite a bit. It's not really to the point of being annoying. I think Lopez wrote each character with enough dimension that they feel real and are consistently interesting. Rodriguez is a standout. Even though her character whines a lot, she brings a lot of emotion to the character and it can come off as whiny. Sandoval as Anna really plays into the big sister character in the first act. And like many films, this is kind of slow, but I think it's needed to show the relationship between the sisters. And even though it is slow, the character stuff is actually interesting because that the characters are so likable. I think both actors bring the sibling relationship to life. If you have brothers and sisters, you can see where the contention actually comes into play. For a first time director, this movie came together really well. It's clear that he had an idea for the look and it comes off really well. There are a few performances that aren't great, but it doesn't kill the movie. And I think the sister relationship is really what stands out and should be the primary focus of the film. So it's easy to look past the small stuff. The movie feels like a blend of Children of the Corn with the road trip aspect and Blair Witch with the weird stuff that happens in the woods. I think this is another example of a movie that has small imperfections that don't really affect the overall quality of the movie. But it's easy to fall into the trap and focus on them. But I think by the end, everything comes together really well. Now this is obviously a movie made during the pandemic with the limited cast, the isolated location. It kind of does feel like the movie was built around the idea of the two actors somewhere far away from civilization, but I think that's what I like about it. And even though they're in a sprawling forest, there's still a sense of like claustrophobia and that somebody's watching every moment. It's by no means a perfect film, but I think for an independent low budget film, it's a lot of fun. And like I said, it's a bit of a family drama set in a horror film. And I think that's what works about it. I think the poster is a little misleading in that it looks like a straight horror film. But as far as the filmmaking goes, the only negative I can really give it is the use of the flashback scenes. It almost feels like padding. I mean, the information that's shown is kind of important to the story, but I do think that it's the weakest parts of it. Overall, it's fun. I liked the characters and I liked the story. And like I said, by the end, it all comes together and it worked. It brings a found footage feel without the found footage. I'm actually looking forward to seeing Lopez's next film because I think that he can learn from this and grow. For a first effort, it could have been worse, and I've seen worse. I would recommend this if you like slow burn, creepy, stuck in the woods type movies. Did you see this movie? Did you like it? Let me know down in the comments. Thanks. Thanks for watching this video. If you liked it, check out one of these videos.